Imagine that you wanted to travel around the world on your own private yacht, not once, but three times. And that you wanted to visit 40 countries during a four year continuous voyage. What sort of explorer yacht would you need for such a hardcore and relentless itinerary? This is Explorer Yacht Karima, a 49.2 meter, 161 foot vessel built by Amels in 1993. She went through an extensive refit in 2014. Karima is a custom built super yacht, explicitly designed for global cruising in all weather conditions. Two of the prerequisites for any genuine explorer yacht. Karima has circumnavigated the world at least three times and has visited more than 40 countries during an epic voyage that lasted four years. This exceptional explorer yacht has a 14 by 9 meter helicopter deck that has been mooted as one of the safest and most practical in the whole yachting industry. She can accommodate an owner plus 10 guests in one master cabin, two double cabins, two twin cabins and two Pullman berths. She has a crew of 15. There are loads of features that I love about this Explorer yacht, starting with the shape of her bow. The short angular orientation of this bow is clearly designed to punch through some big seas. The bow to superstructure ratio on this super yacht adds to her rugged lines. I also love how big the Portuguese bridge is on this vessel. After all, this is one of the best spots on any explorer yacht that has one. So why not enjoy the views with your guests as you cruise in and out of port? Talking of views, does it get much better than a crow's nest? This is one of the few vessels that I have featured on my YouTube channel that has one. For me, this would be a must have feature on my explorer yacht. The stern on Karima represents such a great and practical use of deck space. Not only does she have a flight deck that is big enough for a helicopter to be permanently stowed on it, but to the right or starboard side of the flight deck is enough space for a tender. Meanwhile, underneath the flight deck is a garage that can stow at least two decent sized tenders. It is such a great use of deck space and to me says that the commissioning owner was serious about seeing as much of wherever it is they were lucky enough to visit. This is another great shot of Karima, courtesy of FraserYachts.com. Notice how the two jet skis are stowed midships and that there is also room for another tender on Karima's bow. This image also gives you a sense of the layout on Karima's sun deck which is located above the wheelhouse. I love the launch and recovery system that has been designed into Karima. This Explorer yacht is like a Swiss army knife with so many hidden and discreet yet highly useful features and functions. But what about the interior spaces and areas of Karima? Let's just take a quick look inside.
I could not find any more images of the interior of this magnificent explorer yacht, but hopefully you get some idea regarding what to expect. Karima has a steel hull and aluminium superstructure. She is powered by twin Caterpillar diesel electric engines, each pushing out 736 horsepower. She has a top speed of 14.2 knots with a cruising speed of just over 12 knots. She has a reported range of 8,000 nautical miles at her cruising speed and has enough capacity for 80,000 litres of fuel and 15,000 litres of water. Karima is listed as the 1053rd largest yacht in the world and the 71st largest yacht built by Amels. Over the last 18 months or so, the sale of super yachts has skyrocketed as people with the necessary means to buy a super yacht have taken stock of how and where they want to spend their time. Of course, buying a super yacht means that you can escape from the noise and hustle and bustle of society. But I cannot think of a more capable yacht than Karima to travel to parts of the world where you can experience what it is like to be the only people on this planet. But what do you think of this pedigree explorer yacht? Let me know in the comments below. You know, one of the things that I love about having this YouTube channel is being able to chat to you, my subscribers, about what it is that you like about the boats which I feature. Please don't forget to give this video a like as it really helps and to subscribe to my channel as that really helps my channel grow. You can also find me on Instagram as well where you can DM me if you want to recommend any yachts or boats which you think I should feature on my channel. And if you would like to become a member of my channel simply click on the join button that appears under all of my videos. Channel membership is basically YouTube's equivalent of Patreon. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.